Welcome back to Wise Men Company, everybody. Ben Brown here yet again. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Pork Sword from Black Collar Arms. The Pork Sword is a chassis system, for lack of a better term, that supports basically bolt action pistols. And it's for built for the Remington 700 series of rifles. This one in front of me is in 300 blackout. This is a six and a half inch barrel. And we're just gonna cover this gun top to bottom and then go into kind of why you might be interested in a setup like this. Black Collar Arms is selling complete guns. There is some gunsmithing involved. If you decide just to get a kit, I sent mine out to a competent gunsmith to be put together, head spaced, just done appropriately. But again, you can do this at home if you're feeling confident. There's a good video online from Black Collar Arms showing how to put a kit together. I just sent it out to a friend of mine. He slapped it all together, head spaced it, and it was good to go. So you do have some options if you are looking to put together a pork sword. Again, you can just get a complete gun put together and shipped to your FFL. I got a kit and then a, a Remington 700 receiver separately and have this put together by a gunsmith. The pork sword uses a Savage barrel nut, so you do need a Savage barrel wrench to put the barrel on appropriately. I didn't have that, again, so that's why I sent it out to a gunsmith. And it's actually a slick little system they got here because you're, you're using a Savage barrel nut to put the barrel onto a Remington 700 receiver. So it's kind of unique. It's kind of interesting how that all works, but it does make the process a little simpler. Let's start at the back end here, work our way forward on all the features. So this is a pistol. Back here is an SB Tactical 1913 brace. This is a very minimalist brace. It's also a folder. I think it's a good fit for this gun. Some of you would say maybe it's a little uncomfortable to get a cheek weld on that metal metal part back here, but honestly, uh, shooting 300 black out of this, especially subsonic, it was pretty comfortable to shoot, even putting my cheek on here. I opted for the Ergo grip on this. Uh, this is a grip that's very perpendicular, very 90 degree angle to the receiver. It just gives you a nice clean trigger press. I like this grip. Nothing really fancy about it. I just really like the angle that it attaches into the receiver. Stock Remington 700 trigger in here. I got this Remington 700 receiver from Bud's Gun Shop. Thank you guys. Uh, that was an easy process. If you guys don't know Bud's Gun Shop, then go check them out, please. They sell a ton of great stuff. So I just basically got a Virgin Remington 700 receiver and uh, didn't change anything about it except for the bolt knob on the actual bolt. When I sent this into the gunsmith, he did this for me, added this on here. Makes it really nice when you're manipulating the bolt. Going forward, I have an MDT mag inside of the pork sword. This is kind of an important point. I had Ruger mags in this and they didn't work really well. In fact, they didn't work at all. So I talked to Black Collar Arms. They suggested try an MDT mag. I did and then it worked perfectly. What happened with the Ruger mags was that they weren't going high enough into the receiver. So basically the bolt was just skipping over the top of the round. It wouldn't pick it up. It wouldn't feed anything. The MT MDT mags fit really snugly in here and they went high enough, had zero feeding issues when I switched. So just be advised the Ruger mags, I had two of them, both of them didn't work. This MDT worked great. Moving forward, we have their far end and this is a very minimalist Four end. It is. It does have M-lock slots on here, as you can see, but it is. It is basically just a post sticking out of the receiver, and you can mount a bipod on here. And I don't know really what else you would want to mount it mount to this four end. But the bipod on here is pretty sturdy, pretty solid. I thought this was going to be a real weak point up in here, but uh, really nothing to complain about. I don't. Again, I don't know what else you'd want to stick on this four end up here, but it has a ton of M-lock slots. If you wanted to stick something else somewhere on it at the three, six and nine o'clock, you could totally do that. The barrel is a 300 blackout barrel. It is a one and six twist. It's six and a half inches long. It's just 
basically a short, chunky, stubby little barrel. Got great accuracy out of this barrel. I was shooting subsonics out to 225 yards on some pretty tiny targets. And as long as I knew my holdovers and I did my part, it was putting them right in there. It was a ton of fun. The thread pitch at the end is 5 8 by 24. I have one of the Blackhawk uh, mini bosses on here. This is basically a Silencer Co. Omega 9K can. Silencer Co. was just making these for Blackhawk. They're discontinued. This is a great little can for this build. Cuts down on the overall length and it's quiet enough. Optic on top, because I know you guys will ask, is a US Optics 1 to 6. It's a 34 millimeter tube. It's inside a kinetic development mount. Let me be honest with you guys, this isn't the ideal setup for this gun. It's a little too high. If I had to do it over again, I'd get some lower rings for this optic. I think the 1 to 6 is a good magnification range for a little 300 blackout like this. I just think it could be mounted a little lower and give me a better cheek weld. So just something to consider. All right, so if you're interested in a pistol build kit, you can get those for around 750 bucks-ish. You're still gonna have to buy a Remington 100 receiver, and then you're gonna have to put it together. You can get a complete build for 900 bucks if you don't want to put a gun together or maybe you don't have the right tools, etc. I know all of us don't have 300 blackout go, no go, go gauges lying around or a, a savage barrel wrench, so maybe you would just want a complete build. They do offer that now. Uh, but if you're feeling confident, you could totally slap one of these together at your house as long as you have the right tools, you know what you're doing. One last thing I should add, this has been Cerakoted in an Coyote or an FDE, I forget which one it is, and uh, I just did that because Remington 700s, their components, their parts have a tendency to rust. They don't have good coatings on it. So Cerakoted the whole thing before we put it together, kill two birds with one stone. A lot of you are gonna ask, why would you want this? You can build an AR pistol, same size, same over, same weight, same everything, and you don't have to run a bolt, it's semi-automatic. There are a couple reasons why you would want the a bolt action over a semi. You're into slapping on blaze orange camo, and you live in a communist state, and you wanna go hunting, pork sword. If you don't like gas in the face from a suppressor, pork sword. If you need to be super ninja quiet, pork sword. If you want something that's really small, compact, can fit in a backpack or your truck, pork sword. If you already own every gun out there and you need something different, pork sword. If you just like the name pork sword, pork sword. And lastly, it's just a compact, fun little gun. I mean, if you don't have a lot of distance to shoot precision bolt action rifle. 200 yards and some small targets. This thing is a ton of fun. Like I said, shooting subs at 225 yards isn't easy. There's a decent amount of hold over there, but still it's a, ch it's a challenge and it's a ton of fun. It does feel good in the hand. They offered to send me like t-shirts and hats and stuff since I'm running it, but I was like, that's all right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it does, it feels good in the hand. It fits that 19 size niche really, yeah, uh, really well. Um, I don't, it's not as, like, it's got a better undercut, like, I'm not smacking, like. This is a great little package if you want to start someone new out on shooting. It's soft shooting, it's easy to use, you get a good idea of how everything works in a bolt action. It's just a great, great platform. And I'm glad that Black Collar Arms is now selling full guns because the one bottleneck for me was having to assemble this thing. I didn't have the time and I didn't have a lot of the equipment, so I had to send it out. But the fact that you can just get complete firearms now, I think that's great. And they come in at a really reasonable price. You're looking at 900 bucks for a complete gun around there. I think that's very, very reasonable. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. Is this gimmicky? Is it overrated? Does it look fun? I wanna hear from you. Let me know what you think about the pork sword down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Go check us out at wisemancompany.com. A lot of great gear over there. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We appreciate all that support. My name's Ben Brown. We'll see you on the next video.
If you want to be a super secret ninja in the boogaloo, this is the gun. If your neighbor's cats are super annoying, this is a great option. 